Have you ever wondered, is there an easy way to create the correct size Facebook cover video in Cinema 4D? The answer is, yes there is. So I will start by creating this rectangle and I will give this width of 940 and height of 348, which is the size that the Facebook page cover video needs to be in. And the way the Facebook page cover video works in Facebook is that it, it shows on desktop version, it shows the whole video, but on the mobile version, it's a little smaller. So I'm gonna create another rectangle and I'm gonna give this a width of 615, which is the size for the mobile version. And when you go in, your, in the mobile, these sides won't be seen. So it's very important that you put your the most the, the important information in the middle. I'm going to give this rectangle a color of green and the other one I will give a color of red. So this way I can easily see which part of the animation and of the information that I'm going to put here is going to be seen on mobile and which part is going to be seen only on the desktop. And also one more thing is that these videos needs to need to be tw at least 20 seconds long. So now I'm going to create a redshift camera and I will reset all of these coordinates to zero and also this rotation to zero. And now I have to move this camera back so that this, this fits exactly into the camera's field of view. And now I have to move it I don't know why exactly, but you have to move it the same size, the same amount that is the size of the bigger rectangle so that it fits perfectly. And now if I look through the camera, I can see that these sides are exactly in the same place. So uh, one more thing you have to do is to uh, change the image resolution for the whole project file to the same size. So it's 940 by 348. And now, if I go back to this view, I can see that the camera fits perfectly. And you can be sure that what you can see here is going to be the same thing you will see uh, on your final video. So now, if I have some animation or some text here, I can uh, adjust my animation position uh, so that it fits in the window which will be shown on the mobile devices. So for example, now if I go in this animation mode, which is located here, I can just move this whole animation uh, somewhere closer to the middle. And I, can, I know that this will be visible uh, on, my, on the mobile, mobile version of this Facebook page cover. And now if I add, for example, some text and write, the here, write in here some text here, and change this to maybe 15, no, 15, no, maybe more. Yeah, something like this. And change the depth to one or zero even. Why would you leave one if you want uh, the edges not to be seen? And now if I go in this uh, model, I can move this text and I'm gonna, I can uh, position it perfectly the way I want my Facebook cover video to look. Now, uh, using these lines, you can be always sure that it's gonna look the way you want it to look. So maybe now I can even add some sky and then if I go in this redshift IPR uh, view, I can see uh, my final, the final look of this uh, project. So that's it. That's how easy it is. If you're wondering how I created this laptop animation with this animated texture on the screen, there's a link in the description to the video uh, tutorial for that. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day or night or whatever.